All right, so I'm having second thoughts about playing as a mage. <laughs> In this game, in the second playthrough, but I already apparently I've already spent three hours. <laughs> I I don't even remember where I'm at or what I'm doing. Um, maybe I should just check it out and then see if I if I can get into this character. I supposed to do Ooh, premium content Irving introduced you to Duncan a gray warden who is the guest of the circle after congratulating you on surviving your harrowing Irving instructed you to escort Duncan back to his room which is on the same floor as Irving's study on the east side close to the library okay Colin I hope you are well. <laughs> Who knew that he's going to be like a very important character later on? The hottest fucking character in Dragon Age Inquisition. I hope you are well. Whose room is this? See, so, yeah, I mean, I don't even remember what I've done, you know. I wonder how the king's army fares in Ostgar. I've heard talk of a new blight. I think I've read all the co uh, codex. Um, like I didn't even, I didn't even check. Um, like my previous stream. Uh, apparently, last time I streamed this was like last year. Um, on YouTube, two entries on YouTube. So I played about three hours. was I from or which way was I going you know it's yeah I think I talked to these people yeah I think I did so I think we're supposed to go I hear Irving's very proud of you I think we're supposed to go the direction that I was going I shall do it which was this way I think we're supposed to go this way. Thank you for escorting me. Oh. The Grey Wardens. The first blight had already raged for 90 years. The world was in chaos. A god had risen, twisted, and corrupted. The remaining gods of Tevinter were silent, withdrawn. What riding we have recovered from those times is filled with despair for everyone believed from the greatest archons to the lowliest slaves that the world was coming to an end at waste hopped fortress in the desolate enderfells a meeting transpired soldiers of the imperium seasoned veterans who had known nothing their entire lifetimes except hopeless war came together when they left waste waste hopped they had renounced their oaths to the Imperium. They were soldiers no longer. They were the Grey Wardens. The Wardens began an aggressive campaign against the Blight, striking back against the Darkspawn, reclaiming lands given up for, for lost. The Blight was far from over, but their victories brought notice, and soon they received aid from every nation in Thedas. 
They grew in number as well as reputation. Finally, in the year 1992 of the De Winter Imperium, upon the Silent Plains, they met the archdemon Dumont in battle. The third of all armies of the northern Tevis was lost to the fighting, but Dumont fell and the Darkspawn fled back underground. Even that was not the end. The Imperium once revered seven gods, Dumont, Zazakel, Thoth, Andoral, Zaki- Z- Razakel, Lysakon, and Orth- Orthamil. <laughs> Four have risen as archdemons. The Grey Wardens ha- have kept watch through the ages, well, uh, well aware that peace is fleeting, and that their war continues until the last of the dragon gods is gone. Okay. Um. That's a nice room. It's pretty big. And there's a toilet in the back. There's a bath and then... Isn't there like a toilet or something? Oh, right here. <laughs> They just shit in the bucket. Is there something else I can do for you? Dang. What's happening outside the tower? Ah, I imagine you don't leave very often, do you? We are permitted to walk the grounds. And thus a good view of the other side of the lake. It must feel rather isolated way out here. I am not a good source of news, I fear. I am preoccupied with the Darkspawn incursion. How many mages have joined the King's army? When the King sent out the call, the Circle of Ferelden sent only seven mages to Ostagar. I asked King Caelan's permission to come and seek a greater commitment from the Circle. Why doesn't the king come himself? The king must remain with the army. He is quite busy, after all. How many mages could you possibly need? I hope to place a mage or two within every contingent. I cannot do with just seven. Mages will make all the difference in this battle. The Darkspawn have their own magic, and our resources must exceed theirs. A handful of mages cannot be that useful. Mages heal. They can call fire and ice down upon the enemy, and so much more. I sometimes wonder if the Chantry's many laws regarding magic are necessary. Darkspawn are a greater threat than blood mages, even abominations. It takes decades for the world to recover from a blight. I wish the Chantry could see that. We must stop at nothing to defeat the Darkspawn. <laughs> ah, listen to me. An old man's rantings can't be very interesting. As an apprentice, old men talking have defined my life. <laughs> yes, I'm sure they did. <laughs> have you ever seen someone use blood magic? Once, in my youth just after I joined the Grey Wardens. I was traveling with my mentor. We encountered a group of Templars hunting a blood mage. They were quite far away, so I cannot be sure of what I saw. He forced some of the Templars to turn on their fellows. It was dreadful to behold. He would have escaped had he not overlooked one Templar who snuck up behind him and cleaved his head in two. I wish I had that power. Be careful what you wish for. Power is treacherous. I've seen many people, great leaders, consumed by it. Do you know anything about the Tranquil? The mages whose connection to the Fade has been severed? Why do you ask? Do you think this is cruel? It keeps them and those around them safe. Perhaps the sacrifice is worthwhile. I cannot say. Can you tell me more about Grey Wardens and Darkspawn? 
Certainly. I am intimately familiar with these subjects, after all. Have there been many darkspawn attacks? A horde has formed within the Korkari wilds in the south. If they are not stopped, they will strike north into the valley. We Grey Wardens believe that an Archdemon is leading the horde. Archdemon? Darkspawn do attack the surface in ragtag bands, but Archdemons are capable of rallying the Darkspawn, turning them into an unstoppable force. A horde of Darkspawn, a veritable army. It is dire news indeed. I fear this is what we will have to face. This is a cool game. How's it going, Hachi Man? I thought the Darkspawn were destroyed in the last play. We can't seem to eradicate them completely. Somehow they always come back. I've heard about Darkspawn sightings, but an entire horde. They usually move around in small groups, but there are always more of them, lurking underground, biding their time. And the king is mustering an army to beat back this threat? Yes, perhaps it will be enough if we play our cards right. I suppose all we can do is hope. Yes, we can hope. Yes. And pray. And pray? I'm a mage. I'm not a religious zealot. Is there something else I can do for you? Pray my ass. Oh. I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? Why are you following me? Does it really matter? I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? Why are you whispering? It looks very suspicious. <laughs> Shh. I just want to make sure we're not overheard. We should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. You seem a little on edge. I've been troubled. I'll explain. Come with me, please. We should be safe here. <laughs> In the chapel, the Templar's favorite haunt. See the door from here. If anyone comes, we'll change the subject. There's something strange going on here. A few months ago, I told you that I met a girl. This is Lily. Lily? This fat cow is your. Oh no. Ah, I was beginning to doubt her existence. I was afraid to tell anyone. Lily was becoming a Chantry priest. She's taken vows. Lily's been given to the Chantry. She's not allowed to have relations with men. If anyone finds out, we'll both be in trouble. Love will conquer all. Thank you. I knew you'd stand by me. You can't have brought me here to chat about love. I wish that was the only thing I needed to talk about. Remember I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing? I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. They'll take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, my love for Lily. My all lust. gone. <laughs> if you can't feel, then you can't feel sad about it. That sounds horrible. They'll extinguish my humanity. I'll just be a husk. 
breathing and existing, but not truly living. How did you find out about this? I saw the document on Grego's table. It authorized the right on Jalen, and Irving had signed it. Why would they do this to you? There's a rumor about me. People think I'm a blood mage. They think that making me a circle mage will endanger everyone. And are they right about that? Of course not. But it's not <laughs> safe here for me anymore. I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help, and we will tell you what we intend. But can't you just explain everything to someone? If we tell anyone, Lily will be punished. If you care about what happens to me, help us! But what's her punishment? Is it just... Like... 20 hell demons? I mean, what... Maybe it's not that bad. What do I get out of helping you? The joy of helping a friend? <laughs> the satisfaction of knowing you've prevented a gross injustice? The repository holds more than phylacteries. Join us, and the artifacts will be yours for the taking. Aren't you sick and tired of the circle running your life? You could get out of here with us. My phylactery has been taken to Denerim. I'm still trapped. You'll be out of here and gone before they can even dispatch a messenger to the city. You're talented and clever. You could take your phylactery back from your hunters if you wish. You have so much power. Once you're free, they wouldn't be able to stop you. Then I give you my word. Thank you. We will never forget this. So what do you intend to do? I can get us into the repository, but there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The first enchanter and knight commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power enough in this place to destroy all of Ferelden. What's a door to mages? What if it's a magical door? We have no choice. We cannot get our hands on both keys. I once saw a rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stock room, but Wayne doesn't release such things to apprentices. I will go to the stock room and retrieve this rod. We should stay here. One mage at the stock room will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. Good idea. Good luck. Our prayers go with you. Prayers? You guys like to pray too much. Although apprentices do not know the nature of the harrowing, all of them understand its consequences. They either pass and become full mages, or they are never seen again. Those who fear to undertake this rite of passage, or those who are deemed too weak or unstable, are given the rite of tranquility instead. The actual procedure, like the harrowing, is secret. But the results are just as well known. The rites severs connection to the faith. The tranquil, therefore, do not dream. This removes the greatest danger that threatens a weak or unprepared mage, the potential to attract demons across the veil. But this is the least of tranquility's effects, for the absence of dreams brings with it the end of all magical ability, as well as emo all emotion. The tranquil, ironically, resemble sleepwalkers, never entirely awake or as nor asleep. They are still part of our circle, however, and some might say that they are the most critical part. They have incredible powers of concentration, for it is simply impossible to distract a tranquil mage, and this makes them capable of becoming craftsmen of such skill that they rival even the adeptness of the dwarves. The formari, the branch of the circle devoted to item enchantment, is made up exclusively of tranquil and is a source of all wealth that sustains our towers. I 
hate waiting. It makes me nervous. I need to talk to you about something, Joan. Really? What? Do you know where your family is? No, and I don't care. Why? How, uh, I don't believe you've ever talked about your family. I don't really want to think about them. I came here a year or so before you did. I must have been five or six years old. Mother stopped talking to me after I showed signs of magical ability. She wouldn't even look at me. She'd mutter under her breath that I was a demon child and an abomination in the maker's sight. <laughs> That's cruel. She must have been afraid of you. She'd fight with my father, saying that she didn't want that thing, meaning me, in her house. Guess that's what drove him to leave me at the village chantry. I suppose it's just as well. Ah, it's the past. Are you sure they're going to make you tranquil? Lily wouldn't jest about something like this. I saw it plain as day. There was no mistake. And Gregor believes he does the Maker's work, keeping the mages in check. How did you meet Lily? She was saying the chant of light in the chapel one night while I was walking past. I've heard that chant many times, but I never realized how beautiful the words were until then. I'll never forget that night. They already fucked up. The rumor about you being a blood mage isn't true, is it? Of course not. I've never used blood magic. I've been sneaking around to meet Lily in secret. Maybe others have seen me and assumed I must be doing something forbidden. I suppose we are, but they think it's blood magic and it isn't. I never saw a problem with blood magic myself. Blood magic lets mages influence the minds of others. What if someone used it to control a king or a grand cleric? Magic must serve man, not rule over him. Remember? The Chantry fears this above all else. That's why the Templars, Gregor, will pay attention to a mindless rumor. But that's interesting how you believe in that still, but then you want to steal your phy phylactery just because... You wanted a, uh, a fucking cleric. Are you ready to go? Well, the chant of light, the blight, no matter their power, their triumphs, the mage lords of Tevinter were men and doomed to die. Then a voice whispered within their hearts, Shall you surrender your power to time like the best of the fields? You are the lords of the earth. Go forth to claim the empty throne of heaven and be gods. In secret they worked, magic upon magic. All their power and all their vanity they turned against the veil, until at last it gave away. Above them a river of light, before them the throne of heaven, waiting. Beneath their feet the footprints of the Maker, and all around them echoed a vast silence. But when they took a single step toward the empty throne, a great voice cried out, shaking the very foundations of heaven and earth. And so is the golden city blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Violently were they cast down, for no mortal may walk bodily in the realm of dreams, bearing the mark of their crime, body so maimed and distorted that none should see them and know them for men. Deep in the earth they fled, away from the light. In darkness eternal they search for those who had goaded them on, until at last they found their prize, their god, their betrayer, the sleeping dragon Dumat. Their taint twisted even the false god, and the whisper awoke at last, in pain and horror, and led them to wreak 
havoc upon all the nations of the world the first blight okay Enchanter Leora, in charge of the Circle's laboratory. Is there something you want? What's that door over there? That leads to the Circle's cavern storerooms. There are caves running through the rock that the Circle is built upon. But of course, you know this. Can I look inside the cavern? Uh, no, uh, I, I can't let anyone in there just now. Why? There are just things in there that I would prefer to keep safe. Keep safe? Aren't the circle stores meant to be used? Yes, but I I am in the midst of stock taking, checking inventory, and I, I can't let anyone in there in case they m mess things up. Yes. So why are you out here and not in there? Because I am taking a break. I hate the musty smell of caves, and I, uh, ugh. look, I'll tell you the truth. Just keep it to yourself. There is an infestation of spiders in the caves. I don't know how they got in there, but it's probably my fault. I was promoted to senior enchanter less than a fortnight ago, and I don't want anyone to find out. They'll think I'm incompetent. Well, are you? <laughs> no. Do you need any help? I could use some, I'm sure. I've been too busy with my new duties. I haven't been able to deal with the spiders. If you clear them out for me, I would owe you a favor. A big one. Is that all? I really have nothing to offer you. There are things in the storerooms, of course, but I'm not at liberty to just give them away. All right, I'll do it. Wonderful. Here's the key. Oh, and be careful in there. I'd really like to keep the damage done to the Circle's property to a minimum. <sighs> Infested storeroom. What did I get? I will wash the dishes. You go me. What did I get? She gave me something. Plot items. Oh, laboratory storage key. The well-worn key to the circles cave storage rooms. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Oh. Uh, right click area transition. Ooh. Very well. This is lyrium found in natural powdered state, ready to be incorporated into potions. But inhaling, uh, inhaling lyrium dust, the user regains a small amount of mana. Only spellcasters can benefit from lyrium dust. What do I have? Lyrium dust. I have death magic. What kind of mage am I? Um, drain life, arcane bolt. Where's the uh, survival? Where, where's my um skill? Spells and talent. So I am an entropy major. <laughs> That's what I picked. Okay. 
fine. Okay, where's the Lyrian dust? Private document, a list of household accounts and expenditures over time, useful for merchants negotiating contracts and wages. I don't see no spiders. What is she talking about? I mean, the caster creates a sinister bond with the target, draining its life energy in order to heal the caster. Cool. Common name for cannabis, this herb actually has little to do with elves other than being commonly collected and traded to outsiders by the dailies. It is the primary ingredient in ma many healing souls. Chewing elf fruit restores a small amount of health, and those with skill can use elf fruit to make more potent elixirs. Shall we go? Oh, we get 12. Um, Coins from the belly of the, that one. Maybe I can loot the uh, the first one now. Oh, uh, no. Okay. Only when it's sparkly you can loot them. Okay. Go ahead down the street to a psychedelic beat. I'm a real girl in an unreal world. Disco lights and Lyrium. Put that here. Can't. So many freaking web. So. You know there are a lot of spiders here. Oh. Weapon rune. You can upgrade weapon by enchanting the runes.
the sound effects. This is so ridiculous. Plus one magic. Overwhelmed is the worst. Frost Rock. These shards of lifestone infused with magic, either naturally or by one of the tranquil, frost rocks radiate cold and can be used in many ice related potions and traps. Crushing a frost rock gives it, the user a small bonus to cold resistance for a short time. Ew, it turned into a fucking skeleton. Um, I don't even remember where I came from. From. I came from Ooh, how do they have a magic staff? Okay. Barrel Willpower Charm of Still Waters. Uh so I Came from over here, I take it. It is begun. Motherfucker. Have you ever for your own existence? <laughs> what? Something about your own existence. This just takes me back. Okay. Uh, the area map displays top down view of your current area. Some regions will only be revealed when you explore them. By default, plot helpers are not shown in unexplored regions, but you can change this in the options menu. This is the beginning area. <laughs> Did we finish the quest? I've killed all the spiders in store. Okay. Nice. Hold on. Let me just go this way and just make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay. We're good. Bum, 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 bum. 
I've dealt with your infestation. Really? Oh, that's wonderful. You've saved my hide, I'm sure. And I owe you a favor, so if you need anything, I'll be here. <laughs> keeping the creepy crawlies away? Exactly. I'll be here, keeping the crawlies away. What did I get? It's good to see you again. No, thank the maker. You were pretty thorough. I don't think I could have done a better job. Thanks again. Oh, that was just like a mini quest. Oh, Colin. Hi. I hope you are well. Um, no, I'm not well. I hope you are well. Can you take care of me, Colin? I'm not well. We're supposed to go upstairs or something. Well, uh, is this is this guy still in here? Oh, he's not here anymore. Is he taking a shit? No. You never know. Close that door. Your mentors must be happy for you. You passed the harrowing. Good day to you. Is there something you need? You must speak to Owen. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Is that how you greet everyone? Do you find my greeting disagreeable? I apologize, but I am not inclined to change it. He's kind of cute. Do you need something? What is the stockroom for? The stockroom stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require something? I need a rod of fire. Rods of fire serve many purposes. Why do you wish to acquire this particular item? What can the rods be used for? Some mages require them for their research. Others merely want to light fireplaces. <laughs> I need the rod for my research into burning things. Here is the form, Request for Rod of Fire. Have it signed and dated by a senior enchanter. I will release a rod to you once I have the signed form. Why can't you give it to me now? It is procedure. I need a senior major's authorization to release an item. Thank you. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Very well. Goodbye. Okay, so now I guess you get it from the uh, the rat lady. Hi, Colin. I hope you are well. He used to look so basic. <laughs> he got a good stubble on him. Uh, yeah, this lady, right? It's good to see you again. You owe me a favor. How about signing this? A rod of fire? Hmm. Oh, sure. I 
could sign that, what would it hurt? <laughs> right. There you go. How's that? Excellent. Thank you. It was a pleasure. You'll go far in the circle, I bet. Hi, Colin. I hope you are well. I'm not well, Colin. What are you going to do about it? Can you go to the first floor? It is begun. What's on the first floor? Have we gone to the first floor? Yeah, we have. Okay. I think so, yeah. I shall do. Welcome to the circle stockroom of magical items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? What can I buy here? The stockroom is not a shop. Your mentor should have clarified this. The stockroom stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require something? Mm-hmm. Here's a signed form for the rod of fire. Everything looks to be in order. Is that what he calls his dick? Rod you request. The rod of fire. That's Colin's dick. Rod of fire. Hi, Colin. Hi. I hope you are well. No, I'm not well, Colin. What you gonna do about it? I'm not well. I hate waiting. It makes me nervous. I have to ride a fire. That was quick. To the repository then. Freedom awaits. Okay. W where is it? I don't know where it's at. I'm so nervous things will go wrong. What will you do after you escape? Lily and I will get married somewhere. Away from the circle and its rules. Perhaps in the outskirts of Ferelden. Or in Orlais. Just far from here. We'll live a quiet life, away from magic. Maybe we can buy a farm one day. I just want both of you happy. Well, let's just concentrate on what we're doing. Okay, but where are we going? I don't know where we're going. Is it on the first floor? It must be on the first floor. As you say. Basement. It must be in the basement, right? Let's see. The preparations are complete. Now you must go to the basement of the tower and venture into its massive repository, part of which is set aside to hold the phylacteries of apprentices. Yeah, I already talked to all of these motherfuckers. I already check out all the books. Apparently, I have so much. So, so many uh, uh, lore already unlocked apparently, just from from the uh, just from the, this map. Uh, I need a back scratcher. The chantry calls this entrance the victim's door. It is built of 277 planks, one 
for each original Templar. It is a reminder of all the dangers those cursed with magic pose. How do you know this? Initiates must learn the Circle's history if they are to work with Templars and Mages. It looks just like any other door. The doors can be opened only by a Templar and a Mage entering together. The Chanter provides the password which primes the ward, and the Mage touches it with mana to release it. Since you have the password, can't Joanne help you enter? The ward only responds to the touch of one who has been through the harrowing. Oh. I trust you have the password? Yes. I got it from a Templar who recently accompanied a mage into the vault. And he wasn't suspicious of you? We have chatted on many occasions. I believe he trusts me. So what must I do? First the password. Sword of the Maker, Tears of the Fae. What was that? The password only primes the door. Now it must feel the touch of mana. Any spell will do, but hurry. Fight a spell. Nice. Thank you for your help. Freedom is so close. I can almost taste it. I'm so nervous things will go wrong. I'm trying. Close the door. Oh. <laughs> She's stuck. Come on in. Come on in. Okay. Gotta close the door behind you. Do you have the rod with you? Melt the locks off. Perhaps later. Later? If you haven't noticed, we're not out for a leisurely <laughs> stroll in the woods here. Give it to me, I'll do it. <laughs> Lily, something's not right. I can't cast spells here. Nothing works. These wards carved into the stone. This must be the Templar's work. They negate any magic cast within this area. I should have guessed. Why would Gregor and Irving use simple keys for such a door? Because magical keys don't work. How do you keep mages away from something? Make their powers completely worthless. That's it then. We're finished. We can't get in. That door there, where does it lead? I don't know. Do you think it's another way in? That door probably leads to another part of the repository. What are the chances of there being another entrance? It's worth a try. We can't get into the chamber the way we planned, but we're not about to give up. We can see where this door leads, but I don't think it'll be easy. It looks locked for one. The rod will work on those locks, shouldn't it? Yes. Let's hope they haven't warded that door as well. Let's hurry. We've wasted enough time. I'm not giving up. We've come too far. Um... This is just decoration. Okay. Seems like there's somebody in there. Use your freaking magic. Flame blast the motherfucker. See, that was a person pretending. Because why is there blood? We must not exhaust our supplies. Oh, she's a rogue. 
That's funny. Mental resistance. Oh, ours is better, even though it's steel. Frozen lightning is a, is a common name for crystal that can naturally store electricity, which has made it a sought after ingredient in the composition of several items and cells. Crushing frozen lightning gives the user a small bonus to electricity resistance for a short time. Okay. Should I have them? Oh. Um, yeah. Why don't you wear this? That's <laughs> one magic. Oh. Okay. Requires ten cunning. How many cunnings do I have?
The caster curses the target with the inevitability of true death. While cursed, the target cannot heal or regenerate health and takes continuous spirit damage. That sounds pretty awesome. Mm, paralyze. <clears throat> okay, let's do it. But the thing is, drain life can also be like a, a damage. Um. Spinal will fight back if attack in melee combat, but will not chase enemy and move away and try to remain close to the player. In terms of free range weapons and try to avoid any enemies that come close to his body, they will flee location and harmful area of the fact.
What is that new spell? Tactics is tool used to customize party actions and reactions based on current situations in combat. Where is that? Oh, forward slash. Okay, I uh, will be back. Oh, AI general behavior. A party member's general behavior can be configured using the top down menu at the top right side of the screen. For example, should he or, he or she charge at enemies or be more cautious? Does the party member prefer range or melee weapon? Tactics slots are just said automatic actions that the party member will take in specific situations like casting heal and the party member drops 50%. Tactics are different number lists. Each tactic requires a condition and an action. The condition determines when to execute the tactic. The action determines what happens when the tactic fires. Tactics lists at the top of the list are the highest priority. They will activate before once further down the list. You can reorganize tactic slots by left clicking on the numbers on number and dragging. Tactic slots can be temporarily disabled by left clicking on the plus symbol in front of the slot. Re-enable by clicking on the plus symbol again. Okay, what was that about plus symbol? Oh, okay. 